Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of 500 Days of Misery. The series where I put myself through 500 Days of Misery for your entertainment. Things are going pretty well actually though, all things considered. Um, we just got the maglins and the flask here at the Trapper's Cabin, so I can't complain. We also crafted our first insulation of the run, so that's nice as well. Things are not too bad actually, we just got a nice full sleep, we got full health. Things could be much worse. We don't have many birch teas, though. Really don't have many, but where we're going, there's going to be quite a few birch teas to pick up, so we could definitely do that. It sounds like a blizzard right now, so I'm not going to move on just yet. It's too dark to... Oh, actually, the sun's coming up, so we can do some... We can do some simple tasks here. Like some repairs. We need to make sure we have at least two cloth left for the forge. Which is all we have, okay, so we're not picking up any more cloth. I mean, we're not repairing any more clothes. We could have is this. That'll give us one more repair, at least. And we failed it, never mind. <laughs> Puts us back down to two again. Yeah, we're pretty much just gonna have to just hang out. I guess we can read. Let's do some reading. So I'm actually going to prioritise the fire starting books, because they're more important to me. Because if we reach fire starting 2, which we're going to be close to, by the way, by the time we finish reading this. Uh, fire starting 3, I mean, by the time we reach fire starting 3, we no longer need tinder. And we can we have a 100% chance of starting fires, as long as we use a book. It's 100% successful. Obviously, fire starting five is better, but there's only one way to get there. Oh, I didn't open this yet. Oh, this. Gonna, after that, I'm going to double check, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Probably have too many antibiotics. So I have three boxed bottles now. No, I don't. I thought I saw someone here last time, but I must have grabbed them already. Oh, because we left some at camp office, and that makes three. Okay, um, more reading I guess, no let's do more sleeping actually. So the plan now is to go to the forge, we have everything we need. We're going to go through the cave though, to Mountain Town region and then go down and go through the basin. That way we get coal, we get birch bark. Um, it's just a better route. And the sun is up, the bear is out. The sun is up which means we can make our very first Maglens fire. So slow. All right. I can already see the difference in temperature from adding the uh, insulation. Our temp is already falling a little, a little more slowly than it was. Still falling very quickly, but it's doing better. But that extra insulation combined with the flask is going to be so useful. The downside to, to the flask is we actually end up going through more teas. But it's all for the greater good. I'm just going to quickly check out this shed. We've not been here yet. I'm not going to go too far off the beaten track, just for a couple pieces of birch over there, so we're going to skip it. We're going to get some in the basin, we're going to get some at Marsh Ridge. There's just no reason to rush right now. Damn. Uh, no reason to rush to get some is what I meant to say. We're better off rushing and pushing. Rushing and pushing.
By the way, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but we're pretty close to 11 days survived. So if my theory is correct that the next affliction will hit on day 11, then come in. Wait, we're already at day 11. We didn't get it yet. Let's go. We don't want to have another affliction yet. I was excited to see what it was, not going to lie, but I should be happy. <laughs> we didn't get it yet. Interesting. I wonder when it's going to be then. Remember, guys, don't tell me in the comments if you know. I'd rather... I'd rather it hit me as a surprise when it comes. I just like to add that one reminder per episode just in case. I haven't played this game in a while, so <laughs> when we get... I mean, like, before starting this run, so when we get the bow, I'm going to be so rusty with the bow. It's going to be amazing. Definitely going to miss some shots. I see wolf struggles in my near future. Sure, I can carry much more. We're doing pretty well for coal. Back up to 15, and we should get another piece here. Need all the coal we can get for the forge. But we also need coal to keep us going after the forge as well. But we should be okay. We'll get some in the basin. We'll get some at Marsh Ridge. Just like the same places we're going to get birch, we're also going to get coal. So that's pretty nice. Those are two really good spots, the basin and Marsh Ridge. And they're like next to each other. Then there'll be some coal at the forge as well. So I think we'll be okay. And if we're not okay, then... We'll figure it out. <laughs> figure it out when it comes to it. We have way too many cattails. Cattails might be lightweight, but still such a thing as too many. Soon adds up. At least we don't have to worry about food for a long while. We're also a decent source of vitamin C. You can't live entirely off them for, uh, for your vitamin C because you would need 20 a day. Just a lot of calories. But yeah, it's, it's decent. And 
normally this next spot is guaranteed matches on every single difficulty from Pilgrim to Lofa. Let's hope that they continued that trend for Misera. We can only hope. I wonder when these next afflictions hit then. I really thought it was going to hit on 11. Because I think they hit on day 1 and day 6. Like 1 day 5, 6 days survived. So I just thought, you know, 5 days after that would make perfect sense. But obviously not. I'm going to guess like around day 20 then. Or like maybe 15. Maybe it's every like 10 days after that. Like 16. I don't know. But now I should just, even though I'm excited to see them, I should just appreciate the fact that we've only got to deal with these two afflictions for a little bit, for a little while. For some amount of time. All you think about is food. Yep, we got the matches, so that's good. Wasn't certain if they were going to be guaranteed here or not. I had a feeling they would be. Let's warm up. I think about 10 degrees on the fire will be enough. Oh, like 10 degrees feels like temp. So just a few sticks. Well, we're gonna be need to be here longer than that anyway, so let's just do that. All right, let's think about filling up this flask then, shall we? Let's get some mushroom tea going. Birch tea is great and all, which we will still make some. That is broth. I didn't mean to do that. Birch tea is great and all. I would drink almost anything. But we don't want to be drinking too many of them because we'll end up with full health, and then there's no point drinking them.
leave something behind. Okay, I think that's enough teas for one session. We can keep crafting some anyway, just to get the weight down, but... It's more than enough teas for our flask. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I feel so nice to have a flask, man. We are heavy as hell. Oh well. Just a heavy boy. Oh my god, look at my temp meter. We have two down- oh, for a second there, we had two down arrows. It's a miracle. Almost always have three. We're back to three now. What feels like minus 16 is really nice compared to some of the weather we've had recently. Any of this gear. Just want to grab some more teas over here real quick. All right, let's go down the mega slope. Oh, this guy comes back. Gonna get some sprains here probably, but we do have bandages if we need them. And there goes my wrist. One wrist is fine, though. It doesn't really cause any issues. Two wrists needs to be bandaged because it means we can't aim a stone and therefore... Yep, there it is. Second wrist. So we'll have to bandage that when we get to the bottom. We need to be able to protect ourselves from wolves. Sometimes a stone is the only way. No! 
my touch. It's so dumb that you have to flex an affliction. Like, if you have an affliction that can be cured with a tea, like pain being cured with rose hip teas, and then you want to drink a mushroom tea which doesn't cure it, it's going to make you pick an affliction anyway, even though you're just using it for warmth. Makes zero sense. Oh, the weather's getting kind of crappy. I think it's time to go chill in this cave. I'd like to go grab all the birch and stuff from this area, so we can hang out for a little bit. Don't see any moose markings here. So I don't think we have the basin moose. Die if I don't warm up soon. Which right now is good, because that's the last thing we want to have to deal with. Gotta throw that in there. So it doesn't get blown out while I grab this. If the wind did pick up anyway. Which it didn't. We still need to bandage the wrist. Let's not forget. It's already so much easier to be able to maintain condition now. of the things we've managed to pick up. Hopefully we get some ptarmigans at Mass Ridge and we can be ready to make our second installation then and then start working towards a bedroll. Yeah, the upgraded bedroll that is. We need two liters, so let's just do it all at once. We've got time to kill anyway while we wait for the weather to sort itself out. Call back here? I don't think so. Thought I would check just in case. We don't need to make any more teas. As much as I'd love to level cooking, we don't want to carry too many liquid teas because they're just heather. I'm making some progress though. Three and a half. Three and a half levels now. I think maybe some some naps is the way to go next. Since we're in a nice safe area. Let's well let's wait until that's done. That's gonna take like an hour. So let's take this out, actually. And what we'll do is uh we'll put can't I can't read because I have an injury, so let's just do one hour sleep.
Alright, let's go see what the weather's doing. I think it's still snowing quite heavily. This pack is getting kind of heavy. This is okay. This is okay for traveling. There's no wind, that's the most important thing. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Do a quick check of what we can drop though. Like this torch. Let's go from the top here. The wood is good because it's going to stop us from spending coal. So, unfortunately, it's heavy, but it's coming with me, whether I like it or not. We have too much of everything right now. It's going to be useful later on. Let's just keep moving. We're probably not going to walk all the way to the forge right now because we just don't have the energy for it. But we could at least sleep a little bit closer, like maybe Marsh Ridge. Probably going to be our home for the night. Okay, the wind's picked up. I changed my mind. <laughs> I've changed my mind, okay, we're gonna have to hang out. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. I'll probably just throw all the wood on it and get a nice long sleep here. Six hours should do it. Nice, we healed our sprain as well. Yep, still no affliction. It's now day 11. We're gonna need to eat soon. Oh, I forgot to warm my teas up. I didn't even put them in the flask anyway. Okay, we're gonna have to stay for a moment then just to warm up these. And then I'll go check the weather. People ready to head out once these are warm. Oh, is there an aurora or is that just sunny? I mean, sunny air clay sky. Hopefully not sunny. Okay, yeah, no aurora. So that's good. We haven't had many auroras at all. In fact, I don't even recall one. Am I crazy or do I not even recall having one on this run so far? Some of you guys probably know it better than me, because you'll be watching them back to back. Alright, let's hit the road. Seven kilos over, but there's just not much I can do about it right now. I'll probably leave some coal at Mass Ridge, though. Come to think of it. Because we're going to be picking up more there. And some at the train. And some um, at the forge itself. I'm close to it. Just doesn't seem... Um... Doesn't seem worth it to carry all of it over there. I don't think we'll end up using it all. And if we leave some at Marsh Ridge, it means if after the forge we feel like we need to grab some extra, we can just come back up to Marsh Ridge and grab it. So that's probably my plan.
Stay away, puppy. Or you just gave up on them. I like it when they just give up. There's some mushrooms and stuff. Oh, we didn't grab the birch bark, guys. I'm not going all the way back. There's some mushrooms and stuff we could have grabbed in this area and some roll tips as well, but I feel like we have a lot of regular teas now. It's just not necessary to go around grabbing them just yet. But birch teas, I mean, they're going to respawn, so that definitely would have been worth it. I need to drop something. I just totally forgot. Mending book is really not that useful to us yet. So cold. Just wanna lay down for a bit. Leave the burdock there for now. We'll grab the maples. In fact, I'm just gonna leave these where they are as well. We have so many already, and I'm not gonna end up using any that I leave here at Mass Ridge. Not this early in the run, at least. All right, we're looking for birch bark. We're looking for birch bark. There's one, two. Should come out with quite a few here. Not a ton, but some. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, Will. We know. God, it really is cold though. I wonder if it'll even be warm enough to sleep at Mass Ridge. I mean, yeah, in the Mass Ridge cave. I didn't even think about that. I have to check once I get there. Never felt so cold in my life. This is kind of a gross waste of teas, to be honest. Since I'm sleeping here, I should have allowed myself to take more damage than this, than this anyway. I won't drink anymore. Let's let's just allow Will to get a little bit colder. Kind of want to get some sleep here anyway because... Uh, oh, my energy is really good. Oh, because I slept at the Milton Basin Cave. I forgot about that. I had like six hours sleep over there. I want to be traveling across the muskeg in the day, you see. It's one place I don't like to risk traveling across at night, because when you're right in the middle of it and an aurora pops off, you don't have a lot of time to go over and hide in a cave somewhere. You really don't have that much time to get to safety.
Got a little bit of birch, not a lot. Now there is usually a deer carcass up here. It might be a good idea to go get some meat off that. I don't see it this time though. It can be all the way up that way, but I didn't notice it. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go check for the ptarmigans. That's my plan. If the ptarmigans are over here, then I know exactly what I'm doing with my time. I'm going to eat some cave chicken whilst making our... Uh, Second insulation. I don't have the cloth for it yet, though, but we'll be able to grab the feathers at least. What are we doing on cloth, by the way? I just realized. Okay. I just realized we made bandages before. Oh, no, I didn't. I used a bandage. I didn't make one. But we're okay. We still have two bandages, so that's good. I need that cloth for you see. Oh, that's my last torch. Oops. We're going to have to... Drop a fire real quick. Oh, this is not good. It was a waste of accelerant, but it had to be done. No birds. Not this time. Ah well. Let's go get inside. I'll tell you what we can do. We can go to the deer carcass that's inside of her. <sighs> too much stuff to carry. It's probably gonna be too cold to sleep in here. Actually no, it'll probably be just alright. Even without the torch, like just barely. Here isn't it here. Oh wait, didn't they move it? They might have moved it like down this corridor i don't know i might be getting mixed up with something else they moved the one in the mystery lake to pleasant valley cave i mean the winding river to pleasant valley cave so unless they still ha it still has that old bug where you have to like leave the cave and re-enter let's finish looting it out and then we'll test that this one used to like it wouldn't appear the first time he came in i don't know if they changed it or not Takes so long to just walk right now. It's horrible. Definitely gonna leave some coal here. I'm 12 kilos overweight. This is brutal. It's all the scrap metal and stuff. As soon as this forge is done, it's gonna feel like a huge, well, a literal weight off my shoulders. 
I'm gonna drop a load of coal outside the cave here in a moment anyway. I don't think we need to walk over there with any more than like 15, to be honest. But we might as well clear it out. That alone will make a big difference to the weight. So how many do we have? 32. Yeah, I'm gonna drop like 17 coal in a second. That's that's a lot of weight. That's like five kilos or so. Seem much better. Now we're seven kilos over instead of twelve. Cold. Let's see if that day has reappeared. If not, we'll just drop the bedroll, get our sleep, and hit the road in the morning. We want full energy before we set off earlier, so we can carry as much as possible without too much of a penalty. Gonna be here. So hungry in my life. Moment of truth. Oh, wrong room. Not moment of truth just yet. <laughs> hey, it's a good stuff. I guess we're gonna eat then before we sleep. Come on. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. This is still the same fire we made at Trappers using the Maglens, by the way. <laughs> the power of the Maglens was a free fire and I've still got it like a day later. Well, not quite a day later yet. Half a day. Almost, almost 24 hours. Yeah, I don't need to warm my teas up because we're going to be going to sleep anyway. Let's just double check the air temp here. So it's plus nine. Yeah, so it's one degree in here without the fire. You know what? Do we need water? No, we don't. Not really, anyway. Make a little bit. One degree in here without the fires. Um, so if we add the bedroll to that, it's more than enough warm for the night. We're going to be sleeping for like less than six hours, anyway. Or maybe just about six hours. Wasn't much meat on this day, unfortunately. That's all the birch bag tea. I picked up two. Three, I mean. Damn. <laughs> Life sucks. Drop any of this gear. Okay, time to sleep.
All right, not bad. Health's looking pretty good. Carry weight is still kind of brutal. Six kilos over, but I mean, we can definitely drop some stuff on our way out here. Yeah. yeah we got some bits we can drop. Not a lot, just because we need it all for the forge. But yeah, we've definitely been in worse positions, like carry weight wise. Just unfortunately in this mode, I think I just have to deal with it until I get at least get my upgrades, you know. This is it, so almost forging time. Before you know it, we're gonna have a bow, we're gonna have arrows, we're gonna be getting our bear hides. Life's gonna be so much better. This pack is getting kinda heavy. Yeah, yeah, I know, Will. Drop like the sewing book, the mending book at this entrance, but I don't know what much more I can really drop. I, get, I think I'm gonna get rid of these cans now. And the broth. It's just unnecessary weight. It's gonna help a lot. Get rid of the mending book. This is full. Just drop this for now. He's still in progress. Um, it's the best I can do. Three kilos over. It's not too bad. Oh, what is this weather though? Hmm, this is not traveling weather, especially not for the muskeg. Let's do some reading. We'll check it out again in a couple hours. Anything right now. Oops, I might get thirsty before the second hour's up. No, we made it just barely. As soon as we read the book, as soon as we can get rid of the weight. One more hour left on that book. Off we go then. Next stop, Ultra's Camp, I guess. There's not much for us to check for up there, like you can get like a can opener and stuff. But I have one already, so... Let's just push the poachers. I wonder when my next affliction's coming, guys. Now I don't know when it's gonna come. It's even scarier. I just got it in my head that it was probably every five days from from the first after the first day, because it was day, start of uh, it was as soon as we hit I believe it was as soon as we hit one day survival and as soon as we hit six. So I just thought, all right, well, eleven's next. Maybe it'll be sixteen, like ten days after the first affliction. Maybe it'll be twenty-one. Who knows? stuck
Oh man, now I got the headwind. This is not what we need. I'm gonna hold a flare just in case. Can I cross here even? Now I'm nervous. I better not. I could sprint it, but maybe not with the headwind. If the bear's around, this one is guaranteed, so he will be around somewhere. I don't know if I can cross here. Rusty Blades doesn't know how to get across the ice anymore. <laughs> I think we push the poachers and make a fire because I can't really travel across the middle of the muskeg in this. I would end up wasting a flare to scare off wolves. And that is not something I really want to waste unless it's an emergency. If we can avoid the emergency, oops, if we can avoid the emergency altogether, that would be better. Why did I come this way? Normally I would go over the top. That way. Past the tower. Go down and then come past the cave. And just go straight to poachers that way. Hold your rusty blades are rusty. Let's give the cattails a miss for now. They ain't going anywhere. They'll be here when we need them. Oh, the sun might be coming out. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get a free fire. That's two fires in a row that are free. Power of the Maglans. Such a good item. For conserving matches. I would say it's underrated, but I think everyone loves it. To be honest. More scrap. Ooh, new dog food. We really need to eat. I just want to get inside first. It's a little safer. Free fire, let's go. Come on. Come on. That was the longest. <laughs> Longest 10 seconds of my life. 20 seconds of my life. What is it? Negative 21? Can't really use the sticks. We have to put a coal and a few sticks. Something like that. Nice. I don't know if it'll be better just yet. But once repaired, it's going to make a big difference. We don't have the cloth to repair it either, so it's going to have to wait for now. And I'm pretty sure we don't have anything we can tear up. I guess we could tear up the jacket and use it to repair this one, but how long does it take? 45 minutes? Plus 20. So it's going to take an hour to do that. Wait, but... Yeah, we want this for the inside for sure, because this is way better than this in terms of warmth. But for the outside... This goes all the way up to, like, 1 and 3.2, I want to say. If this goes up to 
0.5 and 3. Yeah, so. But what if we fail it? Fail it, we'll just have to deal with slightly colder clothes, I guess. For a little while. Um, let's just see what our tea situation is before we go on. I have, like, none. Did I leave my tea somewhere? What the hell? I can't believe I used so many. Oh, yeah, like at Marsh Ridge. We went through so many, I remember now. Damn, that kind of sucks. Let's eat this dog food we just found. Finally have a can opener, so we'll actually get to keep the can. Let's leave that here for now. Oh, yeah, I still have that extra flare as well. Oh, no, I just picked it up here. I'm stupid. Of course, there's always a flare here. I'm stupid, okay? Yeah, I don't know if I want to risk that jacket just yet. We'll see. I'll think about it in a minute. Depends how much time we have. Do I have more mushrooms? Oh yeah, I do. See what we have. We have two birch. That's fine. We have a coffee and two risha. We're gonna be traveling in the night. The one thing I said I didn't want to do here. But the wind is kind of holding me back right now, so I don't really have much choice. Swap our jacket around. And we'll tear up the old one. And hopefully we don't fail it. Wait, doesn't this take two cloth to repair? No, just one. Okay, good. Keep making water just for the sake of it. Nice, we didn't fail it. That's good. 2.5. Wow. Very nice windproof then. So worth it. Okay, I'm gonna go now. The wind stopped. It's not quite night time yet. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So let's just drink that. Or most of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna pull all the torches from this. I'm just gonna grab my two that I need right now and just go. We're gonna get right across. Try and do it before the Aurora starts. If an Aurora starts, that is. Because I don't want to have to wait here all night burning up coal just to stay warm. Oh, the bear's right there. Of course he is. Worst possible spot he could be right now. That's annoying. Okay, we can get around him. Could have been worse. Some gear. This guy's following me now. Leave me alone. He's too far away to really catch up though.
Quick before my torch goes out. Oh my god, that was so scary. My torch was dying out. I was worried. I thought he was going to reach me just as it died and just destroy me. Let's face it, I would not have survived, even with the hammer. I'm glad we got that little clothing upgrade. What's nice about this mode, I know I talked... Hello? I know I talked about it in an earlier episode, but... What's nice about this episode is... What's nice about this challenge, this difficulty, is... Your clothing just gets better. Normally, you're rushing to get the better clothing before the weather gets bad. In this mode, the weather starts bad, so... It's just all... It's only up from there. There's no chance of, like, being late. Someone's gotta go. You just want to get it as soon as possible. Same concept, because you're still trying to get it as soon as possible, regardless. But it's tough to survive a long time with the weather being like it is. The temperatures, at least. Can't feel my feet. But it is nice that you slowly get warmer over time and never colder. And there's always that moment in a loper run where like day 10 hits and you notice the change and day 20 hits and you notice the change again. Then you get some better clothes and balance it out but then day 30 hits and you notice it again and, and so on, you know. You don't have that in this mode. It's kind of interesting. God damn freezing. Almost there, guys. It is almost time. Make a knife and then make a hatchet. And to just get rid of some weight, like stack carrying less coal and less scrap. It's gonna feel amazing. And the hammer, we can leave the hammer behind too. So much better. I always forget to leave it behind, but we'll try and remember this time. We didn't end up in an Aurora, so that's nice. Yeah, let's quickly go to this building real quick. Grab some bits. Usually some, like, a log and stuff over here. Freezing. Probably got more scrap than we're even gonna need now. I forgot to take into account the scrap that we'll find here at the barge. Or oh, near to the barge. We found a few at poachers, found a few here. Maybe some at the actual forge itself. I'm gonna allow a little bit of cold damage right now. No point stopping to make a fire or drink a tea now, we're almost there. So I think we'll go sleep in the bunker. Makes the most sense. We need a full night's sleep, so why make a fire and use that when we could just sleep indoors? Look at all that clothing. What the hell? Crappy clothing, but still. It's cloth, actually, so that's really good. I'm not going to grab that tea right now. Yeah, let's push up to the bunker a little further, but you know what? I am going to drink a tea then in that case, now that I've made that decision. What we'll do is we'll drop the hammer and the metal and the coal at the forge to make the walk up to the bunker a little easier. Lay 
down for a bit. Ah, we're fine, Will. Stop worrying so much. See if the hacksaw's over here. We don't need it, but if I don't check now, I'll probably forget for the rest of the run and it'll just be here forever. Oh, it's not here anyway. There can be one on top of this stump. It's pretty. Not many people know that spot. It's a pretty good spot. Yeah, let's just drop. Let's drop the coal. Take some of us just in case. The wood can go. And the scrap. I'm not going to loot this place right now. Ooh, is that some work boots? This stuff will come in handy indeed, Will. Let's go. Alright, we'll loot this later. We'll loot this later. But that's, that's uh, an exciting find for me. Work boots are life out here. Let's go get some sleep, though. My last torch. Oh, it is. I keep doing that to myself, don't I? Oh my god! I look. I was looking away. I just almost got myself killed. Okay. I don't want to waste a flare here if I can avoid it. So, change of plans. We're gonna have to run down the hill for a moment. I was looking away, and I looked back and seen the wolf. Why is he sitting up there waiting for me? The run in here where we're safe. The good thing about this shed, as well as some other similar spots in the world, is even though it looks like a wolf can just walk in, they can't. It's almost got like an invisible wall. This invisible wall is also like windproof as well, so no wind can blow in here. So now I'm gonna have to make a fire just to make torches. Is there a book up here I can burn? Sometimes there's a plain book, a regular old book. I don't see it this time though. I really don't want to. Ah, screw it. Accelerant, it is. It worked. All right, let me pass this time, Buster. I took way more damage than I wanted to here, to be honest. But it is what it is. Man, I hope it's warm enough. It should be. I think our cloven's at a point now where even with the minus five, I'll be very surprised if any buildings are not warm. Like, we don't have amazing clothes by any means, but having one insulation and a couple jackets, some decent shoes, surely that's enough. Surely.
Oh my god, I took so much damage. This was not part of my intentions, but we will probably have two good night sleeps before we leave the forge. So... Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, and it's warm enough in here. That's good. Alright, let's get some food. And get a good night's sleep. Alright, I saw my health flying up. Ooh, it's an Aurora. Interesting. And the Aurora ended. Nice. Alright guys, well that's it. That's it for episode 7. Thank you guys for hanging and watching. I appreciate it as always. And um, next stream, we didn't get an Affliction, did we? Nope, not yet. Next stream, we might get an Affliction, we might not. Well, no, not next stream, next episode. I'm so used to streaming, I'm sorry guys. Next episode, we will get our hammer and grab it and make some trusty arrowheads. We'll be living the dream. In no time, we're going to have a bone. We're going to be able to shoot stuff. And then before you know it, bear coats, baby. Bear coats. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.